Uh, this is the Oceano Depot, first put together in 1904, and it was down the hill about a quarter of a mile from where you're standing, and it was moved up here in 1978. The railroad decided they didn't want to use it anymore, and they were going to tear it down. And the local fellow here, Harold Guyton, wanted to know if there was a possibility of saving it. And they told him, yeah, give us a dollar and sign this document and haul it out of here. It's a repository for everything that's about Oceano. It's either railroad specific or community specific. We have uh, the caboose here. We have a little model train inside of it, so you get to see what an original caboose looked like. And this is the waiting room, and this would have been the ticket window over here and there would have been benches around the room to sit in. The largest room is the warehouse section, and then we have a special area there set aside for the uh, celery festival. They had a celery parade, a dance, and they even had a celery queen. Uh, there's the history of Oceano and the people that lived here, a lot of very interesting people, and also the Dunites. This is the people who lived in the sand dunes right after the Spanish-American War up until 1974. And it was a utopian society, and uh, they published their own magazine. Originally, there was a Hamilton stove in here. And uh, it really adds a dimension to living here. It's uh, the historical aspect of it. We worked hard to preserve that feeling and that understanding.